Alrighty, so we are finally going to get started building our car detailing app and we're going to create some what I like to call tiles for the services that our shop offers. Um, so I imported a bunch of images from, from Unsplash. Um, where are we? So yeah, Unsplash is just a site where you can get like free photos and stuff. So I just got some car images um, from there. I use Unsplash in my projects a lot. but. Um, to use an image in Flutter, you have to register it with PubSpec YAML, um, which is at the bottom of the application tree. And those are called like, they're called assets. So we just need to register an asset. So let me uncomment this. Um, and I believe what we need to do is we need to pass in the lib slash assets slash images slash car one dot JPG. And we can just do this. Oops. Psh. And do car two. And then car three. We can do pub.get. So with this file, um, it's basically, you know, it's just outlining, you know, what composes your flutter environment well you know what packages does it depend on what assets stuff like that so um what i did is like i just forgot if i mentioned this you create an assets folder images folder and then you put your images in there and it's very important that when you write these assets out you um use the full path name and that your indentation is correct if your indentation's off this is not going to work. And then you need to run pub get, which I already did, but we'll just run it again. And now our images are registered to our application. So now we are going to make a directory and I'm gonna have all this code on GitHub in case you wanna look at it that way. It might be easier for you to learn, but we're gonna make a directory called services. So, you know, when you have a car, you have like the detail, the outside wash wax or, uh, interior you know detailing i don't know i'm not really a car guy but we're gonna make a services tile so we'll do touch services tile dot dart and basically what i like to do is um when i'm creating a widget so this is going to be a reusable widget but at first what we're going to do is we're just going to you know we're going to make our widget with some mock-up data what it looks like and then we'll make that widget dynamic and then once the widget is dynamic, we will put it in a list view or something like that. Breaking it down in steps like that just helps keep things simple for us. Um, so we can do stateless service tile. And we erase this question mark. We'll just do child text. This is a service tile. We'll just make sure this is working. We'll go into main and in the child of our center, we will do service tile like so. And when we did that, you'll see that we automatically had that imported and I'll wait for my emulator to start up. We'll do that. We'll zoom in. We don't need this. Move this over here. Make sure you guys can see, and this does take a little while. So while we wait for that to load, we're just gonna come back to our service tile and we are going to start building. So the first widget we're gonna use is a padding widget, which is a lot like the div widget and padding in this context means the exact same thing as uh, padding in uh, HTML, CSS, where it's like the space around our um, element. Oh, and this is going to fail actually. Um, okay. No, it didn't. This is, it's not going to update, but yeah. So we have our service tile, you know, what was there, but anyway, let's get to the padding. So we do padding and it's going to take a padding argument. So that's going to be a constant. It does not take change edge incense insets dot all. We're going to do eight dot O. So, you know, edge insets, it's just from the edge and just left, right, you know, top, bottom. Um, I'm gonna get a semicolon here. It's gonna take a child of card. And um, I like to elevate the cards 
in my um, in my uh, I'm sorry in my apps um, and all the cards you know basically have the same theme so we're gonna create our card theme class uh, we're gonna pass a card theme parameter a card theme class uh, object to our card theme parameter inside of our theme data I don't know why I'm getting so tongue-tied today but um, you see it has all these arguments we'll do elevation we'll do 16.0 and that will be it for now we'll wait for this to refresh so we still have nothing but we'll give this a shape of rounded rectangle border and let me just check real quick does this have a shape too no it doesn't actually yeah we're gonna put the shape inside of here as well so just because our shape is gonna be consistent so we'll do shape rounded rectangle border to border radius border radius dot circular 20.0 so this just creates a square you'll see in a second with you know rounded edges um, and we're gonna want our cars our cards to have like a little shadow um, so we'll just do colors dot orange we'll add a comma there and we'll clean up our code a little bit I'm just gonna put the run down come back to our services tile and we'll just give this a child we'll just do text hi let's we'll see what this looks like yeah so you see the little shadow right here it gives it like a 3d view uh, it's really small right now but you know we'll take care of that in a second so uh, we're gonna pass in a inkwell as the child and the inkwell is just you know like a miscellaneous widget that um, gives you you know a lot of options for like tapping like you know like if you tap or you swipe or whatever so you see you have and you don't need to use all of these these are optional but it takes a child as well and I like to use the on tap um, function so we'll just pass on tap and we'll do the function like so and we can just do print was tapped for now and then we'll give it a child of a container and I like to give my inkwells a splash color um, I think this is a really cool argument so we'll do colors dot orange um, and once I get the height which will be 350 you'll see what the splash color is boom 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 so this is what our card looks like and that is our splash color doesn't that look awesome I don't even know if we need to pass that in as an argument. Let's see if we take that away. Nope, we do need to pass it. Let me see if I can theme this. Uh, theme data. There's got to be a splash color. Yeah, so we'll do colors.orange. See if that works. It does work. Okay, so we'll keep our, our splash color consistent inside of our cards. Um, I might want to up the padding on this. Let me try 10. You know what? I'll do 18.0. See what that looks like. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And the child of our container is going to be a column. So where are we? Container, child. Um, and just a real quick note. When I create a widget, what I like to do is I like to take care of all the um, styling and stuff before I do the child. So the child is the is going to be the always go, always no matter what is going to be the last parameter of any widget. It just keeps things organized. Like if I put the child after height, it's just going to look like crap because the indentation is going to be off. Um, I can actually do this. Yeah, that looks better. Um, so yeah, we have our column and it just makes, you know, a column inside of our widget. And we're just gonna give that a main access size, main access size dot min. So it takes up the minimum of our main access. So in this case, because it's a column, it's the vertical axis, 
access and then um, we're going to do main access alignment main access alignment dot space evenly so all of the widgets in our chart in our column are going to be spaced evenly between each other and then we want to center these elements horizontally so to do that we're going to do cross access alignment cross access alignment dot center and then rather than one child being in the column the column takes a list of children and our first ch uh, child is going to be one of the photos that we created before uh, is that not created but one of the photos we imported before so we're going to do a container which is going to take a height of 200 it's going to take a width of 300 and is going to have a child with an image we're going to pass that a box fit whoa, whoa, whoa sorry so it's going to have a fit parameter which is going to take an argument of box fit dot fill so the fill just means take up the entirety of the space available and the image argument it's going to be an asset image because we imported it um, you can also you know take images from the internet or an api or whatever um, and now we need to pass in the full path of our widget of our asset so it's lib slash assets slash images we'll do car one dot jpg and we will clean up our code command option l on mac os and we should have that working like so we have our beautiful car like that and you know what I want to do let's try to bring this back to eight um, all right maybe we'll figure that out in the next episode but now we have our you know what, what if I add padding do edge insets dot only so left we'll do 5.0 right 5.0 so what I'm trying to accomplish right now and I don't know if I can do this on the fly like this um, is I want to center this image in the tile yeah so I that is I wanted to put some white space around the image we'll try 15 what other end? Uh, so we'll do 15 and 15 that looks a little better but let's see what other uh, we can probably do edge insets dot oops dot symmetric and then we can do horizontal that is what I wanted let's try 25 and we'll add a comma here boom yeah that looks pretty good that looks pretty good um, and we might need to change that later when we move uh, this outside of a inside of a different widget but now we're gonna create the next child of our column so we come down to the container and I really like uh, IntelliJ because it just, these there's there's a lot of widgets. It's easy to get lost in here and one long wrong parentheses or something can get you lost. So we add a comma. This is a list data type that the children is. So we add a comma. Now we're gonna use a list tile widget. It's gonna take a leading and we're gonna do it. It's gonna take an icon um, and the icon we're going to use is icons dot what do we want to do well yeah we'll do wash icons dot wash and it's going to take a size of 30 dot zero and it's color well I don't we'll leave the color off for now it's probably going to be themed nope we do need to add a color and we're gonna have to make some changes so hold on we'll do color colors dot orange actually we can probably theme this so after our card theme we'll see do we have icon theme yes we do we do icon theme hold on okay yeah we do icon theme data color colors dot orange that should change it for us so even if we erase this it will what what all right 
we'll just leave it like this for now. We'll arrange this. I really shouldn't be doing things on the fly because then I end up messing things up. But anyway, so we have our icon laid out and now we're going to have a title for our list tile which is going to be a text. It's going to be wash your whip. You know, wash your fresh whip. Yeah. And we're going to want to style this. Um, actually, we'll just align this to a left. So text align dot left. I don't know why text align isn't in the textile widget. That would make so much more sense to me. Um, but it's not. So we pass in a textile widget once more, and we're just gonna put your font size, and I think I had 25.0, and we're gonna do a subtitle. It's gonna be text, summer is coming. Um, and then we're gonna align this to the left, so what we'll do is we'll copy and paste this. Boom, boom, add a comma. Instead of 25, we'll do 16.0. We'll clean up the code and we'll see how we're looking. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this padding and see how it looks. Mm. If I add padding here. Yeah, let's up this a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we have our first card out and what's gonna happen is when we tap this card, it's going to uh, bring you to another page. Um, so real quick, before we make this dynamic, which will be the subject of the next episode, we're going to should probably change this from hello world but i'm just going to leave it the body is going to be a list view which is a little like a column except it's scrollable and we'll just do service tile we'll do that three times we'll see refresh this and boom now now we are looking good so in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make this dynamic so we're going to add different you know we're going to add a different title subtitle icon and image uh, into our list tile and you see that you know very quickly with just a few lines of code we've already created you know a pretty a pretty decent looking app um so that's just that's just awesome but yeah i'll see you in the next episode be sure to subscribe to my podcast and always thank you again for watching.